Walk one YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna change as you see what happened to the car. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the wheel to straight to get straight so we can um send this car to the action. But as you see, I don't know if you show it like this, but from this angle right here, you can, now you can see that the wheel is messed up. So let's get started on that. We're gonna change the whole complete suspension right here. So I'm gonna take off most of everything that's here. Maybe I leave, I just leave the, um, let's see what I leave when I get there. So first thing first, take off the tire, 21 millimeter. Let's do that. So this is what really bent back there and the strut is bent. So I don't know if I will be changing everything since I see what's bent from what's not. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna change the strut and the upper control arm, which is this thing right here. Since the strut is bent, the upper control arm is bent. And if that don't take care of it, then you change the complete thing. But that, that's look like what's gonna get the wheel straight. So let's do that. So the next thing we're gonna do is remove the strut. So we need something to take that off. And it's gonna be So you want something underneath it like that. So if you don't have nothing underneath it, then the spring will come down, then you're gonna have that to deal with. So once that's done, the next step you wanna go up here and remove those two 30 millimeter on the end. And that will make the strut come all the way down. Up here, right? Yeah. So I got one thirty millimeter nut off already. Just like that. So those studs right there, that's what those struts crew on. Our shocks, I should say. Shock shocks, whatever. Okay, shocks absorber. So um this we want to remove the upper control arm, so we're just gonna pry this out. And this is the ABS sensor. Now we gotta remove 
this one right here and that one down there this one is easy because it's accept accessible that one is hard because you gotta figure some way out to get that so the strut was 18 millimeter at the bottom 13 at the top and <clears throat> this right here is 18 So once that is out, you can knock it or you can undo it like this. Yeah. And then if it's not coming anymore, you can use my trick. Now time for turn. Okay. So guys, as you see, I take off this part right here. You can see the wheel come straight. So as you see the wheel come back straight. So I'm just gonna take off this part and then um, take off the strut and the upper control arm from from the um, from here, from right here. So I'm gonna remove this and this, and that should um, make the that should make the the wheel stay straight. Cause nothing is wrong with this part with the lower control arm so nothing is wrong with the lower control arm so i'm just going to take this part and this part right here and that will help everything and then the wheel can be straight and we can send it to the action and that's it so guys in the back we're going to need to set up something so we're gonna get this 18 millimeter right here. We need to set up something all the way so we can get the get my impact gun to go on it. So let's see what we come up with. Oh, <laughs> didn't thought it was recording. So what did I come up with for the back? I had to take a break, so now I gotta come and look and see what I done so. So, um, already and what I haven't done so now we're back in truck let me find what we have well, what you want a swivel swivel wrench um, a swivel extension so this is extension at the end they have like a swivel point on it so that's why this can bend a little bit so you want to put it right here then that come down to here and I have access to take it off from there so let's see how that goes all right so everything is turning get an 18 millimeter over in the back Just want to take this out. And 
this part, we gotta squeeze it. Now we gotta remove it from right here. So guys, that that's what we have so far. We catch that one over there. We just gotta put a nut on it and then um, catch this right here also. And next is to put in the strut. So the strut is 13 millimeter. basically like that so guys everything is all nice and tight you want to go ahead double check your work i'll put this back i'll put this in and tighten up that tighten up this tighten up that tighten up those two 13 millimeter up there gotta catch this back and now what we can do is wind this down so once this come down that's it guys put on your wheel and you can visit the alignment rack after that but that's it for this one please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel and peace out guys see you next time